Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at another AI research and writing tool. This one's called perplexity.ai. Seems to be a little bit similar to some of the other ones that we've looked at in that we can ask it for a research question or a topic. We can also upload files and uh, PDFs into it and then have it use those as a data source as well. So we can ask it to do something and then we can have it that it prompts us back to try and improve the output. We've got Quick Search and Copilot. Let's jump in. They've got different suggestions here and it really ranges from things like academic and professional research through to things like travel planning, news briefings. So some of the things you will have seen people doing with ChatGPT and I think you could think about this a little bit like a wrapper where it's just trying to improve those things. So I'm going to test these tools out with a couple of questions that I've used in some of my previous videos on some of the other AI research and writing tools. We can see it's a very basic interface. We can actually upload text and PDF to search through. We are on the free plan, so we note that we only actually have a limited number where we can do that. If we want to set focus, this is quite cool where we've got options for academic, Reddit, Wolfram. I'm going to leave it on all just to see what we get. If we're doing something research oriented, then maybe we're more interested just in academic. And the other thing we can do is we can have the co-pilot on or off. And again, with this being the free plan, we can see we've only got a limited number. So I am going to run with the co-pilot. First one that we are going to use is just this question. Does creatine increase muscle growth? And choosing that because we've had that in size, space, and consensus and a couple of the others. So it gives us a little bit of comparison. And we can see that it's ticking away there with answers. Uh, this is looking pretty good. So it's given us a five paragraph answer. The statements here have been referenced. Uh, we've got some links to some references up here. We can see that it's a bit of a mix of more academic and then things like health lines, so just kind of more general sites. But the content here is looking pretty good. It certainly all looks quite reasonable. We can see then that the copilot is offering us uh, other things that we might be interested in knowing. Here's where the copilot takes the uh, give, gives us the suggestion and then carries on with that question that we've clicked on so i want to ask a second question about something different so i won't keep pursuing copilot pretty good i like i like that it can do this without us having to set up prompts like we might do in chat gpt in order to make it behave like that uh, the interface is nice and simple uh, down here we can flag things as not accurate, we can view the sources, we can copy to clipboard, edit the query, share, delete. We can ask for rewrites. Uh, if we're on the paid model then we can access GPT-4 or Claude 2 which possibly will give us even better quality writing. Uh, but overall this is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed on this first uh, attempt. So I'm going to go for something a little bit more niche now. So we're going to go for a new thread and asking about something related to my PhD topic. Is it something where ideally it's going to mention me, uh, but also I have a good, good feel for the things that it should be mentioning. And it's also one where I've tested some of the other tools and we've found that it's hit and miss, particularly around only looking at New Zealand versus looking at more international studies. Uh, I'm going to leave the focus on all, I'm going to leave the copilot on, and let's see how it does. So immediately the copilot says, well, which of these comparisons are you interested in? Technically it would be all of these. Can I tick multiples? I can tick multiples, so that's great. So we are interested in all of these, certainly I have mentioned all of these when I did my thesis. If I hadn't wanted the copilot, I could have skipped that. So let's see how it does. So looking at the sources, it's done a really good job here of both zooming in on some of the most relevant researchers and also keeping it just to New Zealand, something that a lot of the other tools have struggled with. When we look at what it's written, we asked about 19, since the 1980s and started talking about the study where it's looking at the 1960s. So a little bit off kilter there. 
Other than that, though, fairly reasonable. Another one about the 1950s. So maybe I would need to rephrase what I asked there, saying something like 1980s to the 2000s. So one final one that I thought I would try, another one related to some work that I have done myself. And so Reynolds Adolescent Depression Scale. And here we see, and I was hoping and expecting to see that uh, for this one, my work would be referenced. And we can see that there's a whole paragraph here, which is uh, exactly about the study that I worked on. And we can see a couple of links here that link off to some of my work. And so it's showing that it's definitely picking up the correct articles. And geographically, it seems to be doing better, just like with the intermarriage question. So Perplexity looks like it's a pretty good tool, fairly basic interface. Uh, may look at pursuing the uh, pro version, see if I can get access to that to test it a little bit more. Uh, but particularly given that some of the other research sites that I've reviewed have started charging a little bit more, uh, this could be another good free one. Uh, you do only get limited uses of the Copilot, but it seems to be doing a pretty solid job.